What I think is so great with the Ukrainians is that they just make fun of them. I mean, they just take mm -hmm. the piss out of the Russians all the time. Who who do you think is better right now in the art of ship hosting? Is it Russia and China? Is it is it the West? Is, is it the United States? Like who who do you see is ahead in the game right now? If you know Russia is a team, China is a team, United States, or maybe another country is ahead. Who's doing the art of ship hosting the best right now? I think the Ukrainians. I think they're doing a really mm. great job. I think they they have a lot of experience dealing with Russia right next door. Um, I think you see the same too, like from some of the Baltic countries who have this experience, um, you know, being right next door to Russia and having to deal with the, the disinformation and the propaganda and sort of this constant menace. Uh, but the, the Ukrainians have really done a great job of, um, shit posting and sort of, you know, taking the wind out of the sails of the Russians, but also because it gets the attention of everybody else, right? We're all, we're all sort of watching and it does a really good job of, I think, getting a lot of us to, to really root for them and, and to call attention to their, to their cause. So I think the Ukrainians are just killing it right now. Yeah. It, it gets other people to pay attention. I've seen a bunch of the, the hilarious memes that are floating around Twitter and Instagram that, um, I assume come from Ukrainian accounts. I guess there's no way to ever know, but it's created in that vein. And, I I have no idea what it's like to be in a situation like a Ukrainian is experiencing right now in a war zone. I I can say from my own experiences that when I see humor about a situation that is dark that I may be going through at a time or something uh you know that i'd rather not be doing just laughing about it for five seconds can reinvigorate me and, and it flips on a switch and that humor acts as a catalyst for action and then i can just looking at a meme or a friend telling me a joke can kind of flip me back into that mindset of okay let's you know let's just do this so i imagine if you're at war and you need a spark of inspiration to keep going. Humor is a great way to do that. And then also having uh, other people support you because you're so good at communicating online. It's like you're getting two full support from your, yourself and then also people that are watching this go on. Yeah, exactly. I mean, everybody needs a bit of humor and joy in their lives, especially when they're really, uh, you know, in a in a shit place. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and to and then to feel like you're not alone, to to feel like people are, uh, you know, maybe can't be right here with us in the trenches fighting with us, but but they've got our back and uh, and they're rooting for us. I think that makes a big difference. So, in, if you look at the the ship hosting campaign of Ukraine versus Russia what how do their objectives differ like is russia just trying to spin ukrainians propaganda like they're both mutually spinning each other's memes and, and shit posts or is russia basically uh like are they just ignoring ukrainians memes and, and tweets and things like that like in the social media sphere how do the russian versus ukrainian objectives look differently from each other I think the Russians are still sort of playing the the old game, uh, old like a year ago game of yeah, just trying to set their own <laughs> narrative, just trying to destabilize and just kind of you know trying to um, you know to get get people onto onto Russian talking points. I mean that's mostly what you see. So it's it's much more influencing in that kind of a way. What I think is so great with the Ukrainians is that they just make fun of them. I mean, they just take mm -hmm. the piss out of the Russians all the time. And, and it's, it's funny and it's fun. Uh, so it's motivating. Um, but also because it, it takes down the giant, you know, it, it makes it, you know, makes people realize like, you know, the, they're not bigger than us. They're not better than us. Uh, and they're not necessarily going to beat us. We can beat them mm -hmm. because we can do that by making fun of them and by, by sort of taking them down a notch, I think you're making the enemy, um, you know, a little bit smaller and not this big, scary uh, monster as, as much anymore. So I think the Ukrainians are really great at, at doing that. So it's not even so much that they're trying to set a narrative, 
although I think they are, they do that as well. Uh, but really just taking the piss out of the other guy. And it's very effective. 